When I was about 16, I was pretty clear about what I uh, wanted to, to do. It was a pretty bold, <laughs> enormous ambition uh, to change the world. The altruism that one has at that age, I see it in young ones that I talk to now. I'd always uh, had in the back of my mind doing law, but uh, you know, when I was talking about it at, at, at 16 in my last year at school, uh, people said to me, oh, women don't do that, you can't do that. And uh, Anyway, I, I, in my third year, I, I uh, changed into arts law. So I am often asked the question about what motivated me to make the choices that I did. It was very much about the times and the opportunities, the uh, advantages of having uh, parents who were committed to our having careers, having independence as well as a family life. I am very conscious of the debt of gratitude I owe to my parents really for their focus on our education, how lucky we were as a family of girls in the uh, 40s to have a mother and father whose top priority was giving us uh, the best education they possibly could. And I had uh, some role models. I remember I used to have this uh, photograph of one of the first uh, women judges in England, uh, Rose Hilbron. It was all sort of cut out and s stuck up with sticky tape in my school Bible. <laughs> I remember the first girl I knew to go to university and uh, to do science. That was a big thing. Most women were in a very narrow range of occupations. And, you know, you became conscious of that leaving school or looking at what girls were going to do. The beautiful flowers were used as a symbol for the work I was doing uh, in uh, domestic violence. We used uh, the protea in, in different ways and it has a concept of justice and strength about it. It's a great privilege to be painted by a portrait painter like Michael Zavros. A bit scary too. <laughs> he is a person whom I've known for a long time. I went to some of his very earliest exhibitions. We didn't talk about the portrait a lot. I really felt I should just leave that to him. We talked a lot too while he was doing sketches, but not so much about how he was going to do it or what it might look like, or that became obvious as I was, you know, sitting and standing, but not the emphasis or the interpretation that it would present. This is a pinch me moment for me talking about uh, these things that are so close to my heart, but in the context of uh, a portrait, my portrait, uh, hanging in the National Portrait Gallery. You know, the, the magic of portraiture, of portrait painting that somehow fascinates us all. Anything I've ever achieved in my life has been with wonderful support and encouragement. I'm always conscious of the enormous debt that I owe to women who worked in solidarity uh, to open up opportunities for me, for my generation, in education in particular. Women indeed do have an enormous role in uh, the uh, economic life of our country and, and all women need uh, independence. That's why, you know, women's, the women's movement has been so powerful and so important. Women supporting each other and men have to be in that too. This is, this is about family life and that is at the, uh, the heart, the very heart of our our society. I feel uh, very uh, deeply about uh, equality of opportunity in a true sense. <laughs>